Midwest Outdoors recently lost our founder, mentor, and friend, Gene Lollinen. Please join us today as we celebrate the man that helped all of us enjoy the outdoors. Hi, I'm Gene Lollinen, and welcome to this week's Midwest Outdoors magazine. We've got a great show for you. In fact, it's a keeper. It's a keeper. It's a keeper, cause this one's a keeper. It's time for Midwest Outdoors Magazine, helping people enjoy the outdoors. Uh, it got one. He got it. Right. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it right there. Oh, it's that same one we had on the MEP spinner before. He just kicked it loose. He oh, kicked it. Man. Woo -hoo -hoo. Little northern. All right, baby. Yeah. I love those little northerns. I love them. Too bad we don't have a net. We could netize him. Well, that was called an early release, folks. Hey, we're enjoying ourselves up here in the boundary waters, and we're going to go fishing that little marsh pad over there. Right underneath the ledge of that pad over there, there's a little sunken thing and there's northerns laying under there. The reason I know that, about four years ago, my buddy Ray Hansen and I were fishing over there and I logged, we logged about 20, 30 fish out of there and I know there's fish there and that's where we're gonna hit right now. It always pays to take a log and then look at it before you come back to the place because you save a lot of time. Just take a few notes of where you caught the fish, and uh, that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna have my guide get us over here. <laughs> Paige Clark's my guide today. Okay, let's do it. You know, a lot of people think that just because a fish hits, and if you spook him, he won't come back. Well, we caught that, that fish on the MEPS, and it broke loose and took the lure, and on the next cast, we threw something else at him and he jumped on that, still had the old MEPS in his, in his, uh, in his lips. Yep. So that doesn't spook him. When you catch him and release him, that was a, you know, a, an early release, but that doesn't uh, keep him from hitting again. They come right back. When they're, when, they're, when they're in the biting mood, you don't need to worry about that. That isn't a very big northern, but it was a nice one. What a beautiful day, you oh, know? Gorgeous day. You know, life's too short to miss an opportunity like this, to come up here to this God's country. This is wonderful. Uh-huh, I had a tap on that one. I'm gonna try uh, this morning and get us over. Nope, nope, nope. You know, the beaver's a wonderful animal. You know, they're the only animal, oh, I got one. No, no, he didn't go, he didn't go. You know, the beaver is the only animal other than man that changes his environment. Did you know that? You don't know. Now it's coming to think See, of it. It's something you don't actually think about. But You learn yeah. something every day around here, Paige. You go on the news. <laughs> That's but, why I've got the Grand Poobah along. You know, you got to learn every now and then. But, uh, but that's right. You know, they're the only animal that alters the environment to fit their needs. You know, yeah. the only other than man, of course. And we really do a hell of a job at it. Uh, we screw up the environment for our own needs sometimes. But when you come up here to the boundary waters, man, that's the way it was uh, when the fur traders came through here 100 years ago. It just looks the same way as it did then. Whoa, there he goes. Thrash City. We whacked that, that thunder stick. They're, they're going after everything today. I had the one follow me right up to the boat, just had two inches from his it's nose, and he just wouldn't take it. Got to get the motor going. We're coming right up against shore here. Want to save a fish like that, Gene? Huh? Want to save that? Or you want to pitch him? 
for lunch? I don't I don't know. What do you think? Sure, let's let's sail. Oh, it's a walleye. Walleye, nice, nice walleye. walleye. Nice walleye. Really Good. nice walleye. Well, we're in a deep channel here. That's what's going to get. You're yeah, gonna... right right in the what I did was I casted up against shore into some slack water and the bait fish were being blown by there and the fish hit a uh a nice Rapala. Nice walleye. Let's bring that a sucker. Fat wrap. Well, he's a little bit powerful still. He's still got some green in him. We gotta get him up. So he's barely hooked oh, too. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Can't horse this fish yet. This is a nice walleye. Really good. Let's see if I can't hand land this guy. Come on. Come on, right over here to me. Come on. This gets a little difficult here. Don't have a net, don't want to get hooked. Oh, he's gone. All right, well, that's one, that's one loss. Let's go back out and get another one. Oh, I eye-ized it. The old <laughs> rattle trap got it by the eye. Take my little uh, Lama Glass flame tip rod here, which is eight feet long, kind of hard to work with. These little northern. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's a little feisty guy, doesn't want to give up so fast. But I'll tell you, the, the secret to play, having fun fishing is to try different things all the time. You know, throw jigs, throw rattle traps, throw Rapalas, just try everything and have a lot of fun. Catching fish like this is just a wonderful way to, like a day at the ballpark. Good excuse for just relaxing and having fun, you know. Well, that was a lot of fishing action for one quick morning. We're having a ball here out on the Boundary Waters. We're guests of Tom and Woods Outfitters out of Moose Lake and the Ely area. And boy, take advantage of this great outdoor opportunity. Get up to the Ely area, the Boundary Waters, and go out and have a lot of fun like we did. And try everything. Throw everything at them. Throw jigs, minnows, rattle traps, rapalas. Have a ball so you can catch the most fish and release those that you don't eat. But the ones you eat, enjoy them over a nice hot fire. Hey, we'll see you again on behalf of Paige Clark and myself. Thanks for joining us. Folks, I'm Chris Lubat. We got Gene with us. We got Dave. We got Eric. We're out here on Lake Michigan. We just popped a double. I'm gonna net Gene's fish. Hey, I want a good net man. I sure can. Right. Folks, we're gonna go out today fishing on Lake Michigan. We'll show you how fun it is. Wow, that's action, I'll tell ya. Dave's got one now too. Yep. Otherwise, I, I think we got it. I think we got him. Okay, all right. Hey, what a team, Dave. All right. What a squad. Uh, that looks like a dandy one, guys. Hey, that's about the second biggest one we got yeah. so far. Yeah. Nice little fish. Look at that, folks. Lake Michigan coho salmon. The beautiful thing, it's going to be great eating, too. Definitely delicious. Yep. Lots of ways you can cook on. One of my favorites on the grill. Salmon on the grill. Okay, got, I got yep. him. You got him, Gene? I got him. Yeah. All right. Just keep that tip high, Dave, and wheel it in. We got another one on, folks. Dave's working this one. I'll grab the net. Yeah. He's, he's got some play here. Oh, oh. Double. We got a double. We need uh, another there man here. there. Uh, get that, right. baby. We hit a school of them. Okay, net man. Okay, All right. Okay, Eric, get that next one. Look at right. this. All right, I'll get this He's one. He's thrashing. This guy's thrashing. All right. How about that, Gene? Okay. Got her. We got her. All right. Look at that action, folks. Oh, no, he's still there. Yeah, he's still okay. there. Okay. Yes. Oh, look at him go. What do you got there? Got a downrigger to go. Oh, come on, boy. Oh, oh, here we go. Get All right. Nice work. Nice work. In fact. This fish took a spoon for us. We were running what you call a slider, which I'll show you in a little bit. And that's what this coho took. There we go. 
as soon as he gives me a chance there. This one came on a spoon, folks. All the other ones we're catching came on dodgers and flies. But we ran a slider, which I'll show you what, how we were running it when I set this rod back up. Now, there deep, we go. How deep were we when we got this guy? We had a downrigger set about 15 feet, and the slider was running in between uh, the surface and the main bait. So probably about 10, 10 feet, 10, 11 feet. Wow, beautiful. Nice fish. Yeah. Today we got two very special guests on our show, Eric O'Coyne and Dave Oslid from Channel 38. Those of you that are regular viewers of Channel 38 probably recognize their names and faces, but I'm sure you recognize their voices. This is your first time on Lake Michigan, right, fellas? Yeah. yeah. What are your, some of your, re your reactions to this? Well, you know, I've done most of my fishing out on the Atlantic coastline in the Chesapeake Bay and in the Atlantic Ocean. And I didn't think I'd ever be able to do that kind of fishing again when we moved here to the Midwest, and particularly in Chicago. This is my first chance out here, and I'll tell you, it's just like fishing in the Atlantic. It's, it's like saltwater fishing. We've been uh, hitting some great coho today. You bet. And uh, I, I'm just having a ball. This is fantastic. What about you, Dave? First time for me, Gene. I grew up all my life, spent all my years here in the Chicagoland area, and it's the first time I've been out on the lake. I fished from the pier before for perch, but uh, first time for coho, and it's fantastic. What are your initial results? What can you recommend for people? Think they should give it a try, or? Oh, by all means, yeah. I'm gonna try and do it again. Okay. Yeah, get a good captain, get out here, and it's, it's here. I mean, again, you couldn't have a better day. I mean, sometimes it'll get a little choppy out here, but today, I'll tell you, the temperature's what, in the 70s? Or, and or a better captain, too. We better put in a plug yeah, for him. Yeah, we've got to put in a good plug well, for our, our captain. Our captain today is Chris Lubot, and as you know, he's Midwest Outdoors' number one Kilho captain. What has surprised you? Anything surprised you about this? Something different? or? Well, as I say, for me, I never having fished up this way, except in some streams, I wasn't prepared for what Lake Michigan is like. It's like very much like an ocean. You know, it's a big lake. And uh, the kind of action you get out here with these coho, man, we're just having a ball. Uh, well, you've caught about 30 pounds of fish already today. At least. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna have a good meal tonight. And we haven't lost too many. <laughs> no. I know I, when, when I was a net man, I lost a couple, but other than that, it's been pretty good. Yeah. I think we got a fish hey, on. Hey, fish on! <laughs> Yeah. Dave, I'm going to have to let you jump on the next one. Yeah, okay. They keep hitting on my side of the boat. You're going to have to get on this side. That's, that's, those are a little bigger than the ones we had yeah. before. Yeah, they are. Those are nice. Like good one. Dave, you want this one? No, we got. he's got oh, his got own. It? We got two on. Oh, All that right. Was that was gone. Is your two on? Hey, this is a way to spend the afternoon. All right. Beautiful. Okay. Look at that. Another call, folks. This one came out of Dodger Flag in. Good one. Eric, you did a Man. great job landing them. This has been an incredible day. We're just We're pulling them in. in. Makes it look easy, right. doesn't it? Yeah, you know, I said earlier, spent a lot of time doing saltwater fishing, but this is just as good. What they've done here in Lake Michigan is just incredible. That's what it's all about, just having a lot of fun. You know, sometimes yeah. we get so wrapped up in the technology of this fishing that we forget the main thing, is to get out, get some fresh air, some sunshine, and have a lot of fun. Hey, That's we're gonna right. do some more fishing, but we're gonna be right back with some more Midwest Outdoors right after these messages. Hi, I'm Gene Lollinen. Welcome to this week's Midwest Outdoors magazine. This is a special show. Today we celebrate the life of Gene Lollinen, founder of Midwest Outdoors magazine and TV show, and a dear friend who passed away on May 23rd. Born in Duluth, Minnesota, Gene, along with his wife Gail, founded Midwest Outdoors magazine in 1967 from the kitchen table of their home. At the time, he was involved with teaching and track and field at Illinois' Riverside Brookfield High School, where he coached many championship teams. Combining his love of competition with a passion for the great outdoors, he grew Midwest Outdoors into a multimedia company that produces magazines, television, and more. 
From the beginning, his intention was clear, helping you enjoy the outdoors. Midwest Outdoors still lives by that motto today, to provide you with the best of what the great outdoors has to offer. In November 1985, Midwest Outdoors Television was born. It quickly became one of the most popular outdoor shows in the country. Here is a clip from the first ever show of Gene pheasant hunting with bird dogs. Hi, we're with Pete Lakopoulos at the Great Tate Chase Hunt Club, and uh, we're going to do a little hunting today. Uh, Pete, uh, this is quite a hunt club you got here. Oh, we think it is, Gene. Jeff, well, we're going to do some hunting behind bird dog today. Uh, what are some of the things we look for? Hunting preserve dogs have to be better trained. They have to be more obedient. They have to uh, be close or medium ranging dogs. They have to be stylist. Oh, wild flush. This is a valuable outdoor experience for some people who have never had the chance to really hunt, too. I think it is. They won't see this kind of cover any longer, and it's great to break your young son in, bring him out or your young daughter, and it's just a wonderful place. There's plenty of opportunity to shoot birds and see good dogs at work. All right. Beautiful. Good job. Here. Come on. Here. 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 Bring him here. Whoa. Whoa. Well, Pete, that was a lot of fun. I'm I really want to thank you for it. You're that was welcome. a great trip. Come again okay. and see us. From that moment on, Gene and the Midwest Outdoors crew have invited you to come along on our weekly adventures across the Midwest and beyond. Gene was an avid angler and hunter who found outdoor enjoyment in many forms. Here he is walleye fishing in Manitoba. Still there. <laughs> Get him in there. Hi, folks. This is Gene Lawlin, and we're catching some walleye today. I want to tell you a few things about walleyes, and I'm not only going to tell you, I'm going to show you because I feel really lucky today. I mean, really lucky. A nice little walleye on a rattle trap. Oh, beautiful little walleye. Okay. Slow down there, Pella. Now, slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, isn't that a nice walleye? Look at the eyes on that baby. Look at it. That is a sweet little fish. This guy's gonna go back in the water now. Whoops. From an early interest in ATVs to taking flying lessons, he always looked for new ways to appreciate the outdoors. Well, here we are. We're getting ready to take our Via Pilot introductory course and in how to fly. It's going to be exciting. And we're airborne. Oh, Not well, too much, right? You don't want to stall that, baby. Oh, nowhere near. We climb out at 80 knots. That's uh -huh. just about right, right there. Well, as an outdoorsman, you can see, you see a whole lot more of the world than you do driving down the highway. You know, I'm always looking for a lake or a pond, and we're just at the beginning of our climb, and I see about 20 of them already. Oh, yeah, they're all over. And you wouldn't see him if you were driving. So okay, Mark, we're yep. gonna. Go. We're the lesson's over. We're doing a landing, right? Yep, you're doing a good job. Now we're coming in for a full stop. Well, that's it. As we slow down, you bring the nose a little higher. We have a shift yet, have we? <laughs> okay. Well, Mark, that was really exciting. Thank you very much. Oh, that was a welcome. wonderful, wonderful trip. Well, that's it from the DuPage County Airport. Midwest Outdoors will be right back after these messages. The Midwest Outdoors family is saddened by the loss of Gene Lawlin, but we are grateful for what he created. And we are grateful to you, our audience, for helping to share our enjoyment of the great outdoors. Hi, I'm Gene Lawlin. I got a little tip for you. You know when you have to cut your line, the best thing to have around, of course, is a clipper. But if you don't have a clipper, you need a knife. And the best thing to do is get a knife that you can open with one hand. And one of these Spydaco knives are really nice. They have a little hole in them, and you can open your knife blade and still hold on something with the other hand. Just give it a flip like this to cut your line. It's a great little tip to save you time and a lot of frustration. If you don't have one, you need one. Hi, I'm Gene Lawlin. I got a little tip for you. 
Anytime you're going to a lake, if at all possible, try to pick up a lake map of the area you're fishing. This will make it a lot easier to catch fish. Hi, I'm Gene Lollinen. I got a little tip for you that might be helpful. One of the best purchases I ever made was buying this pontoon boat. I'll tell you, it is the most comfortable way to fish that you can find anywhere. If you haven't thought of a pontoon boat, take a look at them. I love it. It makes fishing so much fun. You can stretch, move around, and drink your coffee. Try it. you like it. And if you don't have one, you need one. Midwest Outdoors helps you enjoy the outdoors with expert articles on where to go, what to use, and how to use it. Your subscription gets you 10 big issues of the best in fishing, hunting, and the great outdoors. Sign up now at MidwestOutdoors.com slash subscribe. Well, that's it for this special edition of the Midwest Outdoors magazine. I'd like to thank all the people that really helped make this show, and that is you, the viewing audience. Without you, we couldn't do it. So starting next week, join us again for another edition of the Midwest Outdoors Show. Until then, I'm Gene Lawlinen. Thanks for watching.